Uh, today's video uh, is about uh, one Oracle product called uh, Oracle Date Integrator um, ODI. The version is the will be 12.2. It's a 12C actually. It's underneath the web logic. Uh, this installation that actually is for the Elucian Bana system. Bana system they have a system called uh, ODS. What ODS actually is also Oracle products called Oracle Data in Data Store. Uh, the 92 9.2 this is made by the Lucian, but internally they're using both Oracle Data Integrator ODI and this ODS. So things that even it is from Illusion banner for general purpose, the installation for Oracle Data Integrator will be exactly the same for the other system. If for you are using ODI, hopefully this video gave you some help for the procedures. Uh, I will show you what issue I'm running to, how to install it. First, you download it. Uh, you download it from the eDeliver and Oracle and this 12c r2 version and then the file name will be jar file yeah, i think it used to be some web logic and probably have a different file so zip i'm zip but now most are jar file using java that's jar to open it the task detail we are going to talk about a little bit about to say you need because it's web logic you have to check what's the basic requirement or from Illusion system also work on. And the next thing is that because this installation, there's two parts. One is installation on the server side, another is a repository database. Because this system is created by, uh, no, this created for Bana system, ODS, uh, there's a requirement from Illusion. So ODI repository database has to use the same database for ODS. Okay. Uh, the database we're using is the Rack database. So later I'm going to show you how to connect the Rack database to do the installation. Another one is to install required JDK. Uh, not every JDK is going to work. Uh, work or try to limit it now. Then we installed it ODI, 12CR2. Another one is we're going to create the repository schemes. Okay. Here is the detail, so quickly go through it. We'll check, check the basic requirement. The ODS DB is um, what is the requirement for it, right? It's in, it installs, as I mentioned, the ODI has to install, install in ODS DB is a must. It's a from a uh, illusion banner system. So we have to do this way. The second is the basic requirement for database. Minimum version will be 12 CR2. Java version is 1.8. And then ODI, you got to pick up 12 C dot R2. It's web logic underneath. Another requirement for an LS setting. The settings in the uh, database and on the server side should be the same. Uh, you can use command in database to see what it is and using Unix command to check. The Unix command, when you check it, probably looks like it's the uh, UTA or something American, but inside there will be uh, American language. The next one is a create ODS database. Uh, this one is to, you can use the TPC to create an empty database, but the only thing is the ODS is a sort of like a decision support system. In that case, we are going to use in DB block size 16, not 8. This only thing you probably pay attention to about ODS. And then this custom, they have some 
you know, internally in the rank, they have a table space which is to be created uh, in the future for them to use. The next thing so will be the JDK because I got really got troubles. And, uh, open JDK is the one we installed on the rack server everywhere, all of them are installed. But looks like Oracle Charter Limited, you cannot use it. You have to use in Oracle. Work about some some Java, so you have to download it. Uh, then this is what I did: is I got some Java one is to load on here in the workable server bashed up profile. I set up this pod to this new one, but I'm not touching the old one. When you have a Java set up in the right way, and then the next thing will be install this one. R12RC. Uh, to start it, the way the standard now is to install everything will be Java, that's jar, your jar file. The first you've got one screen, so it's nothing but just welcome. You click on next. The next one is to ask your update is to just escape it, skip it. The third one will be asked you where you put location. You usually you insert the where you want to. But however when I did this I click just to got some privilege. The reason here is that this this system is created by the rack. U01 APP owned by the rack by root. So I cannot I get there what I have to do is I have to go there, uh, create a directory myself by using root. Change the owner for it. The next one is ask you the type, installation type. This is, uh, we're using standalone installation. This is a requirement from Illusion Bank because in their case, you have to use standalone installation, but I think the most the other case you're going to do is using enterprise installation. But here you have to choose a standalone installation for the BANA system. They're going to check to see everything is fine. Looks like I've checked everything is fine. You click next. The next one uh, is it is to give you the summary screens where to install the right where's log file. Everything just like you see before. Usually, I'm going to save a response file, which is uh, that's just a file. Uh, you can install this whole thing so without using this the GUI tools. You're just using a responsible file. You can create on the server side. Uh, that is the way what I'm doing. You click on the save responsible file. You give the name. I put on ODI response dot. TXT. Then I had got a file for it. The installation the procedures are when they started, right? Is to go through all of the procedures like the standard you see it before. When everything is installed, it seems no problem. The whole procedures I do not have a, I do not have any error. So generally you go next. Next page is a the list to give you the information what it looks like. Click on the finish. By now your first part you install this software on the server side. The next one is about database. So what we have to do is ODI have the repository in ODS uh, database. So this task will be using RCU. RCU is the repository creation utility. So this utility was using for not only ODI, for all of the uh, web logic, uh, OMF repository database. So you probably got used to this guy, RCO. 
Now we're going to do is install repository schemas in the ODS database. You go to this location because we just installed the worker home here. Go to worker common bin, start RCU. Oh, in start ICU, first just to click next for welcome page. The next one is to create. We are going to create a repository because I got all the privilege for DBAs. So I select the system load and the product load. If you do not have it, probably have to do something else. I got a DB privilege. I'm going to use the uh, system to do it. Here's the page to try to establish the connection to the database because we have the database that is a four node rack database. So the host name, you can do another way you using your real host name and to do it, but for the connection to the rack, usually we're using called a scan. Uh, if you see my all of the information about the rack setup, uh, there's a scan is you're going to use to connect to database, the port, also you put your service name. I, this time, I'm using system to be the user to do the installation, but I suggest you use a sys. Only thing is I didn't use a sys, I'm afraid I have some issue to connect to the rack database if I use a sys directly, because when you use a sys, it has to be, it's not normal, you have to choose a sysdba to do it. So this is, I chose a normal system, but I did got some trouble. So later I will show you what error I got, how to solve it. But I guess if you use a sys to do the installation, you probably do not have the problem I run into. So when you click on next, it's going to start to check the, you know, what is the requirement uh, it looks like everything is okay. I just click on OK. The next one they ask you to do is to select what you are going to install, right? So I check old 12C database. By now we're in the new one, 19C, to see what installed before. When I check all of them, according to what I got this user, for each user they have one application, I mean a repository to choose. I seems I have to check all of them to be able to identical to the 12C database. So I select all of them. The next one where I'm going to running it uh, is start checking this to see if the requirement is okay or not. The one you're running to this one, the third one is a work repository, I got some arrows. Now, ask me to click on OK to see what's the arrow. I click on OK. I find underneath the arrows, it looks like this. This set executing privilege on this one, I do not have a user. So the user will be installation user, which I use as a system. That's really weird because systems should have everything assigned, but they just do not have privilege on DBM is locked, surprise to me. But however, I have to do something. I go on this one to the system. To see the bypass it, well, continue. Looks like they passed everything. They got it. I click on the OK again. The next one, they ask you for the OLM scheme and what's password, right? I put in something. Uh, I used uh, all of them schema same password the next one they are looking for the super user password for the working repository so here is you putting you're putting the password here right? all the password you put on it so and then this one type because your test system you always d 
Another one is the repository name. It doesn't matter. We're just using this similar, like the suggest work per. Click on the next. When I click on next, I got some issue again. They said it's the first repository database for the user password that has to be less than a 10 character. There's nothing wrong with it, just change it to less than 10 character. The next page is show you everything here, what is going to install, the what is schema owner, what the what is table space or temporary table space. Because the table space is not there, they ask you to create it or not, it's just to click on OK. So the next one, there, start, create a table space, this is no issue at all, you click on OK. Now we are running to the summary page. The summary page will show you uh, what you're going to use, port and service name, what you're going to use to you start by create, click on the create. When you start create, uh, usually I saw it go through really quick uh, myself without any issue. Uh, I'm still running into some issue because I'm using system as a user. The first one I run into is uh, uh, it said it's the ground executing on DBMS log to this user, this create a new user, they got trouble with. So the problem is I grant executing on this object to system user, but system user do not have a grant privilege. That's why when a new user created, system user tried to grant to it, it failed. So I go to database and do this to just manually. I find all of the user start with the TES and the ground this the DBMS lock is queued on this DBM lock to all of the user start with test, only many times only two of them. And then the critical things will be we do this again. A ground executing on this object to system user always ground option. Hopefully it's going to solve the all the issue we're running into later because the not only probably create more than 10 users. By down this one and you click on ignore because we already did these steps uh, ourselves, uh, we we'll just ignore it, continue. So it looks like it's the past, it's uh, starting uh, doing it, but I got another error. Similar things, it's a ground executed on DBF's lab to this user. Well, in that case, I think a system user I'm using to create a repository is still do not have on DBMS log object with the ground. The same thing, I will go to database to find, to change it, ground this one to system user, always a ground option. Hopefully the God will be solved all of them. But however, I go on this one manually to this user, as indicated here. So I click on ignore, continue to do the installation. But finally, I got this page. Uh, looks like the uh, installation is successfully. Then the, basically, this is two steps. First, you install the ODI on the server side, and then you create ODI repository in ODS database. Hope it helped. Uh, thanks for watching.